hanging out, you guys. This is Masaki. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lala. If you're not familiar with me, I'm repatriating here to Africa and I'm just documenting my journey to share any tips and, you know, suggestions I have for you guys and just take you guys along with me for my journey. So, um, today I'm going to do a little something different, go to the grocery store and just look at some items. Oh, I got my hair done, y'all. What do you think? Let me know. This lady did it really fast. Um, she's gonna hate on my video right now, but I'm actually gonna strap her to me and we're gonna head out to the store. I love to walk, so I'm gonna walk there. I'm gonna walk there and then I'm gonna take a bolt back. So this should be interesting. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the prices and I could talk along the way. Um, it's really hot today. But um, I just want to give you guys some footage of even the neighborhood and things like that so you can see. Because when I was looking to repatriate, I didn't see videos like this online. So I just want to give you guys something you can take with you. Alright, so we're about to head out. Bye! Baby girl is knocked out and we didn't even leave the house yet. <laughs> She was sleepy because I did my hair late last night and I was up till like 12 so if I'm up she's up um but yeah you guys I'm about to get up out of here and to make sure I had everything took a boat or like a that's a, like a uber in the states i, sh I could have easily took a boat but i like when she is able to sleep this is like her nap time i usually strap her head in with like this mesh co covering Okay, so this is the street. Hi. How he choosing? Hey. <laughs> oh, he choosing. So y'all, I'm walking through these neighborhoods and literally all I see is white people, other ethnicities, 
in these big houses in Masaki, Tanzania. And it's a shame that we fall for the narrative and refuse to build in our own continent where we have way more advantages than the others do. Um, it's a shame, honestly. Like, look at these houses. I don't know if y'all can see them. Big houses. Looks like Miami, to be honest. Yeah. So, we continue to fall for the narrative. Car is knocked out, by the way. Um, while people are benefiting, you know, and the thing about it is they don't tell you that they live here. You will only have to visit to see. Um, look, this is what I mean by the sand. Like, they don't have sidewalk, so my feet are just bare. But you know, I don't mind it because it kind of reminds me of like, like I'm on the beach. It's not like the red dirt. If it was, it, it is certain places with the red dirt, but this sand is bearable because you could easily just carry some wipes and just wipe your feet off. But regardless, I still like walking. It's beautiful. Let me show y'all what I'm looking at. Nice roads, really nice roads. Yeah, this is the opposite of New York because the pedestrians don't have like priority. It's more so the cars and the boaters. But um, yeah. I like to walk. Got some guys over there chilling. I actually like walking because it gives me a better sense of direction and where I am and get familiar with certain roads. I'm actually, let me wait till these cars pass. I'm actually on Haile Selassie Road right now. And it is such an honor to be walking down this street. I've walked down this street several times, even when I stayed at the other location. But um, ah, anybody knows me know, I love Bob Marley. So we've reached the store now. Seems like today is less busy. Shoppers Plaza. There's some cute cafe over here. Kahawa Cafe. Pharmacy. Shoppers Plaza. Oh shit. In the pharmacy now. It's finished. Okay, you don't have a substitute? Yeah, because she cut herself on the head and I wanted it to heal. So, it's all done. Alright, thank you. Um, I'm just showing people in America that it's developed. Cause they don't see it. So this is, uh, yeah. Internet. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Oh, YouTube. YouTube, yeah. Okay, where do you get this camera? Um, in the U.S. Okay. All right, thank you. It's nice in here. That's all I was showing them. 
<laughs> so yeah, that was a pharmacy. They have another store in here. Let me see. I do want some earrings. So bad. You don't want, but I'll just sure, want sure, them sure. to see that you can get stuff here. comfortable with you don't have to get American brands or UK brands but we all know we're familiar with certain products and just use the certain products so couldn't tape in here and it's just not allowed so I can't tape and show you guys any more product because he's actually right there to the left of me so bummer but it is what it is
So you guys, so I'm back and I tried to get footage and um, of the products and it's like as soon as I hit that first aisle, um, this white lady was standing there and she had like the dress. I'm just giving you a description. She was right there and I don't know, she thought I was taping her. She knew I wasn't taping her because she did a double take and I was clearly taping the products. I'm not taping you, but she, the timing of when she walked away and when the guy came back to tell me, hey ma'am, you can't tape here. Like it was just too much of a coincidence when she walked away and when he decided to come back and tell me, cause they all see me, my, my camera was strapped around my neck. So if you were so strict about it, you don't think they would have just told me like, ma'am, if you're gonna tape, you can't tape in here, yeah. you know? But it's okay because um, once I started to explain to the guy that came up to me, he was a black guy, once I started to explain to him like, listen, I'm trying to promote the country. You know what I mean? Like America, that's how they win, win at their game of marketing is promoting any good thing that people don't see and aren't exposed to people want to see it because that's going to inspire them to move here if they know that you have the same type of items that they do in america and he was like oh wow like she really have love for the you know like that's the look he gave me like she really have love for the country but then he said okay i gotta talk to my boss once we went to talk to the boss and i seen that they were indian I was like, he's not gonna get the mission that I'm on right now, so I might as well just save my breath. And then, you know, like, he just was like, no. The Indian guy was like, they gotta get approval, you gotta go through a system. So I'm like, listen, if it's forced like that, I'm not even gonna push it. Anything that's forced is me. Anything that flows is God. I did sneak some footage in there though, but I didn't get the prices. Like I want to show y'all individual prices for like the main items that people usually get when they grocery shop. But it wasn't meant to be. Um, but I did take my receipt so you guys can see like what I bought for certain items and how much it costs and what the price difference is. The major thing here that's like discounted is travel like, like uh transport so the boda is like a dollar to travel you know five sometimes ten minutes um so that's like that's dope for me um but the food the food is much cheaper especially if you go to the market the market is way cheaper but I know they won't discount anything for me because I don't know the language so until I learn more of the language I'm just gonna go to the grocery shop and get my items but um if you guys like this video and you want me to share more content like this please let me know your comments are very much appreciated because it lets me know what you guys like to watch and what you want to see and what you want me to continue posting but um yeah i'm tired that he drained me but we're back now Kari's eating her chips and we're about to probably take a nap or get something to eat so thank you for watching one love bye